Welcome back to Invest Global. Today we continue on with our Launchpad Ecosystem Map series into the Binance Smart Chain blockchain with Dodo. Now this is the first project in Binance Smart Chain in the Launchpad category that we'll be covering. And I do have to say, out of all the different blockchains, I think Binance is the most abundant with scams. I'll just be straight out honest and say it. Um, you can basically launch a project incredibly, incredibly fast on uh, on Binance Smart Chain, which is a great thing because it, it allows innovation, but it's vitally, vitally, vitally important. You're doing your own research in all of these projects on Binance. I cannot repeat that enough. You really have to understand the downsides of Binance, which really the centralization. And one of the most important things that I personally think um, when you're looking at this, just from a basic fundamental aspect is w number one, watch the video down below in the description, how to do your own research. I go through all the different things you need, sentimental analysis, on-chain analysis, fundamental analysis, and technical analysis, right? So all these different things combined. But with Binance Smart Chain, personally, what I like to look at is BSC scan, right? So just like on the Ethereum network, we have Ether scan. With BSC scan, you can see, okay, what is the token? How many token holders are there? Is one token holder, like, is it very, very centralized, right? So does one individual token holder have 80% of the supply, right? This is all very important things. Now, I'm not saying that Dodo is a scam or anything like this. I do actually like what Dodo is doing. It's actually pretty innovative with the PMM. So we've talked about automated market makers in the past and AMM, but a PMM is essentially a proactive market maker. Uh, very, very interesting. We talking about that a bit today, but mainly focusing in on their launch pad, um, part of the dodo ecosystem right so this is something they called call crowd pooling um you can see that they talk about all these different things um with marketing leading liquidity so they have liquidity protocol dodo, dodo is a liquidity pro protocol powered by the pmm system and built for capital efficiency they have contract fillable liquidity so dodo's contract fillable liquidity is comparable to the centralized exchanges and they also offer like price discovery which is interesting with their that uh, mechanism um, but if we go down here, so they talk about the PMM here. So how they describe it is um, uh, the Oracle aided algorithm with an advanced pricing formula that provides contractable fillable liquidity. Traders get lower slippage with the PMM and AMMs. Now, if you want a better understanding of this, that is like just a very, very basic overview and just kind of using some fancy words to say, hey, we built this kind of complex uh, algorithm. You really have to, anyone can say they built a complex algorithm on the surface, what you have to do to actually understand what what they actually built is go in deep and actually do your own research. So a good way of doing this is actually going into the docs, which is on their GitHub. We will have everything we talked about in this video, by the way, linked down below in the description and actually see, okay, what, what did they actually do with this PMM? And a good way to look at this is going to the actual contract here and uh, also looking at the the uh, tokenomics as far as that goes, because even, um, even this doesn't uh, necessarily describe it the best. Um, this is just like this part of the um, the intro is just kind of an overview of these things, right? So if you want to see a video where I actually go deep dive into their actual PMM uh, algorithm, I can do that. But in today's video, I really, like I said, wanted to focus in on um, this here, right? So the crowd pooling, um, since this, this is a continuation again of that Launchpad ecosystem map series, which is a playlist for the whole thing, you know, where we've gone through all these different blockchains, whether it's Cardano, whether it's Polkadot, whether it's Avalanche, whether it's Ethereum, all these different things is down below in that description um, with that playlist. So Crowd pooling is an equal opportunity way to distribute tokens and kick off liquidity markets inspired by the call option mechanism commonplace in security markets. Crowd pooling ensures that there is no front running or bot interference. With the added security and assurance provided to be a liquidity uh, protection period, users are able to participate in liquidity offering campaigns and be involved in the projects they support with peace of mind. So this is very, very important. Uh, it's interesting, you know, the, again, that's the whole point of the series is to look, okay, how are all these different projects going after this launchpad category, right? Because originally in 2017, we had ICOs. That model was a bit broken in my opinion. Um, that's why they're pretty much are, I mean, really ICOs is a very general term for bringing new coins onto the market, right? So if a new coin launches, now typically they launch in a decentralized exchange where they can get some price discovery and some liquidity. Now that's what Dodo is focused on, but I do like this, you know, when they have a, the, the different things like incubators, there's accelerators. We've talked about there's kind of more crowdfunding aspects and crowd pooling aspects, which I find is very, very interesting because then you don't necessarily have this a uh, middleman, right? So I do like this, this idea of crowd pooling, you know, that's how a lot of these different projects essentially started, right? Getting a essentially funding from the crowd, right? That's the whole point of decentralized finance. Um, and here on the pool, so Dodo gives liquidity providers the flexibility to create and manage their own market making strategies um, through the Dodo vesting machine. 
and Dodo private pool. This is fully permissionless, non-custodial process, and users are empowered to configure pools with various parameters in order to establish liquidity markets with the ideal pricing curves that suit their needs. Now, I do find this interesting. Um, one thing I have to say is if you want to check out um, each, each of the different launchers on here, are different, right? So it's a different allocation you need. And there, there is some things you have to go through like KYC with Dodo, sadly, still. Um, th there are some launch pads out there that don't require KYC, but they are a bit uh, newer and a bit more high risk, high return. Um, the, the big ones, like I would say, kind of the top dogs in this space are Trust Swap and Poker Starter. And those do require KYC. So if you're only citizenship, if you only have one citizenship, you only have one residency, which by the way, we talk about multiple citizenships and multiple residencies on this channel, Invest Global. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button if you're enjoying the video so far and hit the notification bell and click all. But beyond that, uh, like I was saying, if you only have one citizenship and let's say that's in the United States or in these countries that are not allowed, you're at a bit of a disadvantage, right? So that's why you should at least look into, especially if you're investing in larger, larger amounts of capital, um, obtaining a second citizenship or at least a second residency to start out. Uh, but the point here is if you go to the crowd pooling aspects, you connect your wallet, you can actually see um, what's going on here. Um, that's about all it for the docs. I don't want to bore you guys too much here. This is really just an introduction. You know, I've, I've talked about Dodo in the past, but um, I wanted to focus in on, on this um, individual aspect of crowd pooling. Uh, I'm, I'm always open to do a part two of these videos. So again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, anything else regarding Dodo. Uh, also, like I said, follow them on Twitter at uh, BreederDodo. Um, also follow us at InvestGlobal underscore IO to stay up to date with different things. So you can see here like different drops they're doing. Um, by the way, we also have a Telegram group where it's a group of like-minded investors just talking about all things uh, global investments and uh, anything like that. Because sometimes, you know, YouTube actually deletes some comments. So uh, that's why I think Telegram is a good alternative because nothing gets deleted there unless you're uh, someone who's spamming. So um, ticker symbol DODO, rank number 273 on coin market cap on about 37,000 watch lists. Uh, right now sitting right around 85 cents, basically just sideways, a mark cap under $100 million. We saw that massive, massive peak up there. I think that was when they got listed on Binance. Um, I was interested in this at this mark. I was uh, traveling around Turkey when I was talking about Dodo uh, originally on the channel. Now I'm currently here in Poland, um, but it is right around to what, 86 cents. Um, at the time of recording this, and I'm recording this on um, July 23rd, uh, we saw the all-time high and all-time lows right here of uh, $8.51, an all-time low of around $0.06. Cents. So uh, we're in an interesting place right now with Dodo. Uh, I do think we can obviously fall a lot further. This is a project that, I, again, I highly recommend doing your own research, being very, very careful. Uh, that's basically all for this one. Like I said, if you have any questions, any comments, let us know in Telegram. Let us know in the YouTube comments. You can tweet at us at investglobal underscore io. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date, hit the notification bell, and click all. Invest global, and until next time.